Tonight is what you would call a Super Hoops Tuesday for our prepsters. There were so many great games taking place all across Mid Michigan, but our tour around town begins at Holt High School because there was a battle between two unbeatens in the CAAC Blue. The 4-0 Rams welcomed in 4-0 DeWitt, and prior to tip-off, Rams coach Tori Brooks could hardly contain her excitement. These little Rams fans were on the same level and on their feet the whole game, so you know the big girls had to show out. With less than a minute to play in the first half, the lady of the night coming up clutch once again. Rima Dozier banks in two of her game high 21 points. Hole went into the breakup four, and in the second half, they would spread the wealth. Abigail Metzger gets the easy J to extend Holt's lead. But if you thought the Panthers were packing up that easy, think again. Gabby Bry just absolutely drills the three to close the gap. Then within under 15 seconds to play off the inbound pass. Alex Charles sends one up. It's no good, but she gets her own board, and it's a one-point game. However, Rams fans have no fear. Bailey Hosford is here. The senior would come clutch with three free throws in the final seconds of the game to help Holt hand to it. It's first conference loss, 55-53 to the final. So how big were those shots at the end, Tori? Oh, it's huge for us, especially with our free throws. We've been struggling throughout this year. I think we've only been shooting 50%. So for Bailey to be able to come down and hit those like clutch four free throws at the end are huge. And it just DeWitt's going to make runs. They're a great coach team. Um, but for us to be able to hold it out and you know do what we need to do at the end, it's it's big for us. How about just the chemistry and the team? We know that we can run with anybody. So it's really just about us and staying focused and knowing that we can we can beat teams. Well, out in CMAC country tonight, we had another rivalry clash between the Fowler and Portland St. Patrick girls. And Pickett Gymnasium was packed for this rematch after the Shamrocks beat the Eagles by eight points back in December. It was all tied up at 35 going into the fourth and final quarter. And I'm pretty sure this is how Tom Izzo would like to utilize the fast break. What a possession by the Eagles. And Taylor Weber caps it off with the bucket. Fowler's Emma Riley missed the first meeting due to injury. So you know she was ready to ball out, gets the left delay to fall for two of her team high 16 points to tie it at 39. St. Pat's answered right back on the next possession. You cannot leave Natalie Teachworth open like this because it is a walking bucket all day for her. She'd finish with 17. And right after, though, is when the Eagles would start to fly away. Riley with the dish down low to Grace Epke and one. It was a part of a 7-0 run for Fowler. The Eagles avenged their loss from earlier in the year, 51-44. to And while Riley's 16 points were welcomed, it's something else she did in the fourth that was the difference. She's one of the, you know, one of the best scorers this school has seen, but what people don't give her credit for is her ability to pass and see the floor. So, and to our credit for our post players being able to recognize the ball screens and slips um, to put themselves in a position to finish is, is, is pretty sweet. After talking to Coach George, he said he's trying to slowly ease you back into things, but you had 16 points tonight and some pretty key assists. So how would you say that you're easing back into it? It's feeling, my ankle's feeling really good. I have been working back to practices, doing a lot of physical therapy, and I just owe it all to the team for helping me out through all of it.